Good morning, everyone, and welcome to On the Couch with Rosanna Baptist Church. Hi, I'm Phil Sporton, and as always, I'm here with our senior pastor, David Bunnell. Hey, David, how are you doing? I'm going all right, mate. I'm uh, feeling pretty good. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, and uh, uh, congratulations on getting the jab, so I'm pleased you're well. <laughs> I join I join that double vaccinated crowd now, so I'm feeling all right about that. That's good. Congratulations. Um, for those who were at uh, Rosanna Baps last week, you will note that we have the same background. And in fact, we're going to uh, continue on the same theme. And the reason for that is because we, we did our On the Couch Live, uh, we didn't record it for obvious privacy reasons, reasons, but we thought the content was worthy of sharing more broadly. So we're doing a bit of a repertage of uh, On the Couch 50, uh, 65 from last week, but we'll try and add some more content and also uh, just pick what we thought were the highlights from uh, the church, the live version of On the Couch. Thanks, Phil. Well, last week we considered uh, two two verses from the scriptures one said you know uh, give thanks in all circumstances and the other one was you know all things work together for good to those who love the lord and as we had dialogue with the people and they were sharing with us um, the answer to both of those questions became similar people people were giving thanks in the lockdown circumstance for zoom and they were saying one of the good things that was working for good was Zoom. So after we've had the reading, we'll just explore that a little bit, Phil, because it's quite interesting. It is indeed, yes. Off to the reading. Thanks. Today we have two readings, the first being 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 15 to 19, which will be followed by Romans chapter 8, verses 1, 18, 28 to 29, and 38 to 39, starting with the reading from Thessalonians. Make sure that nobody pays back wrong for wrong, but always strive to do what is good for each other and for everyone else. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the spirit. And on to the readings from Romans. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. For those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Thanks, Phil. I remember you saying to me, I think it might have been after last Sunday's uh, live Zoom session that we had for church, that um, one of the things that worked for good and one of the things that you were giving thanks for was for Zoom. Now, who'd have thought that? Why, why do you feel that, Phil? Well, what I think in Zoom, it's a bit like television brings people into your lounge room. Zoom brings us a lot closer. We're having conversations, more intimate conversations over Zoom than we would in the hustle and bustle of, of the church building. So I find it, I think I've got to know the members of our church. I think I've got to know people who watch on the couch better because of Zoom uh, and that we have the opportunity to use this tool uh, to be able to communicate more broadly than just the four walls of the church. And we're doing it in a really unique way. Yeah. I, I recall one of the verses that you read was from Romans 8.18. It says, Paul was saying, I consider that our present sufferings 
are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. Lockdown, we, we are suffering a bit through lockdown. We're, we're missing quite a few, th few things. But Paul is actually saying, compared with what's coming, compared with the making of Christ in us, if you like, what we're going through is of little consequence to that that's coming. And one of the things that I, I've really enjoyed about our Zoom fellowship uh, is, has been the, depth, the, the, the depth of people sharing. Mm. And you consider that that just doesn't happen on a, on a normal Sunday morning. And we're, we're hearing people's stories. We're hearing about their life. And, and uh, we're, <laughs> we're, we're joining them in their prayers. They make their prayers. Some of those prayer requests, Phil, have been wonderful, haven't they? Absolutely, yeah. And, and that just, it just doesn't happen. I mean, there's no substitute for face-to-face. -face. Let's, uh, let's uh, put that out there. But we've been in lockdown and we're not allowed to meet face-to-face, -face, but we've been coming together on Zoom and it's been wonderful. And, and we're hearing things that we didn't know about people and that's always exceptional. And it was of interest to know, to know that, you know, what they're giving thanks for and what's working for good is actually Zoom. And I, I remember uh, last Sunday, there was a lady who shared with us a, a, a very, very heartfelt and moving uh, prayer request she made about her grandson. And it's something that none of us, none of us would ever give thanks for, would we, Phil? You, 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 know, you know what I'm talking about. None of us would ever give thanks for the situation that her grandson finds himself, a little nine-year-old boy finds himself in. We wouldn't give thanks for that. But as she explained that situation, did you, re did you hear it? She said, there have been some miracles. Mm -hmm. Doors have opened up. Uh, appointments have been made where there were no appointments. And so this is, I think, what Paul is getting at here. We don't give thanks for the situation we're in, but we can give thanks in it because little things happen along the way. And I read just this morning, as a matter of fact, that when we give thanks, it doesn't mean that the situation will change. It doesn't mean that it will make any difference to the situation. But by learning how to give thanks changes us. We will have a different perspective we will have God's perspective on things and it works It works grace in us, Phil. So for me, I think Zoom's been wonderful and uh, I think there's a, a, a need perhaps to continue it when things re restore to normal. So I think it was a wonderful Sunday last week. Yes, thank you, David. And that's a great line. Um, don't give thanks for the disease, but give thanks in it. Yeah. Yeah, because we'll, you'll find that, that somewhere along the way, things will, things will happen that you didn't think could happen. And God is at work and works things for good. And we can give thanks in all circumstances. And as I said, we will change. Yes. Ah. And the way in which we approach that situation will change, I guess. That's probably, that's the big thing that came out of, uh, last Sunday for me, there, 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 right before us was the truth of that statement of Paul's, give thanks in all circumstances. And this be, is God's will. Yeah. And before COVID, we did not have a digital congregation. We most <laughs> certainly do now. We do. It's fantastic. It's just, just a great thing. So thanks, mate. And it was a great? great Sunday last week. And, Absolutely. And, and, yeah. Shall we pray? We shall. Heavenly Father, today I pray and ask that you will grow us all in grace and in an attitude of thanksgiving for all that you have done for us in Christ Jesus. Lord, it is our desire that your will be done in our lives and it is your will that we should learn the discipline of giving thanks in all things, whereby we may be changed. I pray, Father, that you would develop and refine this exquisite grace of thanksgiving 
in all of our listeners today. And I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you, David. And thank you, everyone, for joining us on the couch. And we look forward to uh, seeing you all next week for On the Couch with Rosanna Baptist Church. And bye for now. Bye for that. And I think it'll be on the couch 67, if I'm correct. 67 it is. Good on you, mate. Thanks. It's great working with you. Thank <laughs> you, everybody. Cheers. Bye. Bye. You are working all things for my God.